Section 6.3 starts to discuss some of the taxes that are taken out of your paycheck. Question 1. Keller has gross earnings of $362.40. Find his Social Security tax, which is also called FICA tax, Medicare tax, and state disability insurance. Assume he has not made $130,000 this year. So up here you're going to see that Social Security tax for the current edition of your book is 6.2% on earnings up to $130,000. Earnings over $130,000, you don't pay any more Social Security tax. Medicare tax is 1.45% on all of your earnings. The state disability insurance is 1%, and this is only calculated on earnings up to $31,800. So kind of values to keep in mind, you will be given this entire box on your test. So not anything that you have to memorize, but you do need to know how to use it. Okay, so for question one, um, $362.40 is the paycheck amount, okay, the gross earnings. We want to find our Social Security tax. Because we're not over that $130,000 in the year, we're going to use all 6.2%. So we're going to take the $362.40, the entire paycheck, and the decimal equivalent of 6.2% would be 0 0.062. Multiplying, we get $22.47. Remember, you're always rounding to the nearest penny, which is the second decimal place. The next one we're going to look at is the Medicare tax. And for that, we're going to again use the whole paycheck and using 1.45%, which would be as a decimal point, 0 0.0145. Multiplying, I get $5.25. The last one we're going to look at is that state disability insurance. And we're going to take the entire paycheck, $362.40, times 1%, 0.01 and we get $3.62. Another question that we're going to look at, question two, shows that we've already earned, or Shannon has already earned $127,634 so far this year. So that means they're close to that $130,000 um, limit. What we're going to do in this case is we're going to find out how much of their paycheck can still be taxed. So let me write that. How much of this paycheck still pays the Social Security tax, or again, that FICA tax? To find that, we're going to take the 130000 maximum and we're going to subtract away the pay, the amount of pay they've had so far, $127,634. And again, on that amount they've already earned, they've already paid taxes on that. So when we subtract, I get $2,366. And this is the paycheck amount that can still pay Social Security tax. So as we go, I'm going to try to keep that on there, our Social Security tax isn't going to be the whole $5,224 in our paycheck. It's only going to be 2366 of that paycheck that, earn, that can still pay the Social Security tax. So $2,366 paycheck times the Social Security decimal is 0 0.062. Multiplying those together, I get $1,466.92. For Medicare, we pay Medicare on the entire paycheck. So whole paycheck. So we're going to take that $5,224.63 times 0 0.0145, 
And when I do that, I get $75.76. The last one is the state disability insurance. And remember that it said that we only pay 1% up to $31,800. So if we, if Shannon has already earned $127,000, she topped out on that long time ago. Okay, so there is no state disability insurance to pay. So the amount there would be nothing. Let's take a look at the last question. And there's only one other type of question you're gonna run into in chapter six, section three, and that's someone that is self-employed. So someone who is self-employed pays taxes both as the employee, but also the employer because they're self-employed. So there's a couple things that are double and again, it's double because they're paying as the person that is the employer and also as the person working, the employee. So if you take your Social Security tax of 6.2% and double it, you get 12.4% and you still have that maximum at 130000 Medicare, if you take 1.45% and double it, you're at 2.9%. Okay. Again, these are decim um, decimals that you would be given. Find the Social Security tax and Medicare paid by TIA, a self-employed. So again, this is the only clue that you're going to get that they're self-employed web page designer. She had adjusted earnings of $53,820. So if we're looking at the Social Security tax, that $53,820 is not close to the one hundred and thirty. dollars So we're going to take the entire $53,820 and multiply by the 12.4%, which would be 0.124. Multiplying that, I get $6,673.68. And I'll label that as a Social Security tax, also called FICA. Okay. For Medicare, we're again going to take the entire amount and multiply it by the Medicare tax rate that's double which is 0 0.029 as a decimal. Multiplying, I get $1,560.78. Okay, so if you see that self-employed term, then just know that you're looking at double the Social Security and Medicare, and those percentages are given to you.